Today, salt makes many appearances and has many uses. Whether it participates in adding taste to our food or acts as a biological necessity for the human body, salt has become an important aspect of our daily lives. Like many things that exist today, such as the human race, salt would not be here without the Big Bang. Threshold 1. Let's go back 13.7 billion years ago where salt began. This Big Bang produced a massive amount of energy. To be more precise, it gathered all the energy that would ever exist in the universe, consequently causing temperatures to be billions and billions of degrees high. Hydrogen and helium were the first elements created. Thresholds 2 and 3. The high energy and temperatures allowed the first stars to light up 200 million years after the Big Bang. They were followed by the formation of galaxies and nebulae 199 billion years later. Around the same time, the first stars died out and became supernovas which created heavier elements like the sodium and chlorine needed to combine and produce salt. These elements were scattered throughout the universe. Threshold 4 4.56 billion years ago, the sun was formed when a cloud of atoms collapsed under the pressure of gravity, which was enough to heat the core to start fusion. The rest of the solar system was created through newly forming stars and clouds of chemically rich matter in Goldilocks conditions, gravity, and random collision. Without salt, life on Earth could not exist. Salt is necessary to maintain a chemical balance in the human body as well as help our muscles and nervous system function. The first form of life, an early simple salt organism, appeared in extremely vast salt water that covered the earth. Prokaryotes evolved in deep, massive vents that provided heat and chemical energy three to two and a half billion years ago. Prokaryotes evolved to use energy from the sun, also known as photosynthesis. Photosynthesis allowed life to spread to more places as well as let prokaryotes fill our atmosphere with oxygen rather than carbon dioxide. Like the prokaryotes before them, eukaryotes combined to, co to create more complex life forms known as multicellular organisms about a billion years ago. Organisms later moved to land, which caused them to find new ways to survive and reproduce. Reptiles evolved from these organisms and mammals from reptiles. Reptiles have salt glands to remove excess salt from the body. In mammals, it maintains an acid-base balance, plays a role in secretions of the digestive tract, eliminated excess salt from the body, as well as throat protections. Threshold 6. Threshold 6 begins when an asteroid hits Earth, wiping out the dinosaurs. This allows mammals to start filling niches in the ecosystem which dinosaurs previously filled. This allows for the eventual evolution of our early ancestors, the hominids. Hominids continued to evolve as our brains increased in size and power, and bodies formed closer and closer to the ones we have today. Eventually, er early Homo sapiens, our modern ancestors, formed symbolic language, which led to the exchange of ideas and passing of ideas on to the next generation. This collective learning is when each new generation knows more than the previous generation through the passing, passing and exchange of ideas. Threshold 7 Salt played an important role throughout human history. It was originally used as a preservative. It has been traded throughout history as a luxury good. Sometimes it was used as a currency for trading. It was used in the preservation of mummies. It was worth so much that at one point it was traded one ounce for one ounce of gold. Seventh century Japan is when salt is first seen in crystal form. The Empire of Mali became very powerful due to the production and trade of salt. Salt became the sign of social standing. Salt was so important that the knocking of over of table salt is a sign of bad luck or evil intent. Judas is depicted knocking over salt in the Last Supper. Threshold 8 Threshold 8 is when humans became a more global community. We became more connected as a people as the exchange of ideas and trading of goods began to take place on a global scale instead of local. Salt played a significant role throughout this period and up to today. In 1825, the Erie Canal opened, which was opened as a pathway between the Great Lakes and the Hudson River. This led to New York becoming an important port city due to its location at the end of the Hudson River, where it opened up to the ocean. The Erie Canal allowed for easier movement of salt, which became its principal cargo. In fact, salt tax revenue paid for half of the cost of the Erie Canal. In 1930, Mahatma Gandhi led a 200-mile march to the Arabian Sea to collect salt for the poor. 
This was illegal due to British law stating that it was crime to have salt not obtained from the British. This was in direct protest of the British government. Modern uses of salt today are flavor, preservatives, removes rust, disposal, medical, cleaning, preventing of mold. Salt will always be important because it is a necessity for life and we need it to live as humans.